Pow, baby. This is my 2003 Honda Pilot, and I'm going to show you all of its wonderful quirks and features. Starting with the exterior, we have this scratch that happened when I was not in the car in the East Lake High School parking lot, and this scratch that happened when I was not inside the car somewhere. And if you'll notice, it is on the top of the car, so somebody has managed to scrap the top of this fucking thing. And now we have the license plate, which, um, you know, it's a license plate that does that. And now we've got some, um, food grease because me and a friend decided to eat some really greasy Mexican food on the hood. And now we've got this scratch. This scratch. So here I've got uh, these uh, Toyo tires that are basically worn to the bone. And if you'll see that, first of all, none of this curb damage was me. My mom drove this car for long time before I did. And, uh, you know, everything looks normal with this one, except for, you know, that. But if you'll come back here, you'll notice that this wheel is absolutely coated in brake dust. Now, you'll think that's because you're riding your brakes or something like that. But if you come around to the other side, and neither of these tires are like that, so... So here we have my wonderful windshield wiper, which if you'll come around to this side, you will see it doesn't actually have a blade anymore, so, which explains the streaks because it will kind of wipe it. So what we have right here is the perfect example of Japanese engineering with a panel gap that I can fit my fingers into. The suspension, well, uh, it exists. And now here in the interior, a couple quirks and features. One, we have a gas pedal that has less travel than the parking brake. And we have a brake pedal that will move side to side rather easily. One aftermarket component of this is the uh, stereo, which um, I would much rather he didn't. <laughs> Let's try this again. I've upgraded the stereo. That's it. All right, so now we have our uh, glove compartment here. First of all, very high quality plastic. Second of all, absolute mess. Can you can you explain the, the duct tape on the door handle? The right crumb here? started peeling and then somebody cut themselves. Just barely. There it is. In all of its glory of giving us the same code over and over again for no reason. So now here in the back seat we've got two quirks. The first one being that it contains a non-functional flashlight. The second being all that goddamn mud. Do you smell gasoline? I do smell gasoline. <laughs> what do you think that is? <laughs> um... What, why don't you go ahead and show me prime, uh, prime sexual position, Joseph? All the seats have to be down. Alright, so this car has three rows. A couple quirks and features about it is one that the back of this seat has a bulge for some reason. And the second being, I am six foot one. 
And if um, you can come around and get a shot of this, this is the only way I fit into these seats. I don't even fit into a single seat. I have to like sit in two. Oh fuck! Oh, oh, shit! Fuck! 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 Oh. Fuck! Fuck! Oh. Now, what's not, what's most interesting about the back of the Honda isn't anything on the outside. It's what's on the inside, just like women. Now, what you can see, I got yours. I got my squeegee. You saw me cleaning this shit with it earlier. I've got my ice scraper. I've got a rain jacket, two emergency kits, tire chains, a blanket, and a shovel for shallow graves. Damn, Joe. You're a kinky motherfucker. Whoa! <laughs> Chill out. All right, uh, now that we're driving in the pilot, why why don't you tell us a, a little bit of the history of this car, Joseph? Um, it was purchased in 2003 by my parents. My mom drove it for several years, then she stopped driving it, and then I started driving it. And then we took it camping, and now there's a bunch of streaks on the inside of the windshield. Because people were sleeping in here and breathing and there was no ventilation we weren't opening the windows because it was like negative two. What the fuck is this dude doing? Who's man? Joe, you know, it's... I feel like it's getting a little hot in here. Yeah, if you'll notice, this is set to the lowest setting. And I can turn up the fans, and it will feel slightly cold, but that's just because it's blowing in air from outside. The AC does not work. Oh. Okay. Now why don't you tell us a little bit about the handling of this car? It handles. My elaborate. It hand it. It does that. Oh, oh god! Oh fuck! Oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh fucking hell! <laughs>